name's Dale Anderson, and I'm the founder and executive director of Project Survival's Cat Haven. Um, when I was in seventh grade, a guy brought a mountain lion to my class. That's kind of where it started for me. California doesn't allow you to have a pet mountain lion. You have to have a reason to have a mountain lion, and you have to have two years full-time experience. So as an airline pilot for many years and through my work at the airline, I was able to meet people and found a facility down south uh, in Southern California. And I was able to go down and get my experience requirements down there. And through the whole process, I figured out there was a lot of things that needed to go on that weren't just um, having a cat and looking, having people come and see the cat. It became one of these experiences where you have to say, let's do something productive to help cats in the wild. So we changed our focus in a sense before I even got started to say, let's try to save cats in the wild. And being with the airline, I was able to travel around the world. I was able to talk to researchers in the field and find out things they needed help with. And so the cat even became the focal point of the tool to be able to get people interested, but then our focus becomes away from the cat even to try to save cats in the wild. So that's what we do now is we're out there having people come visit the cat even, and then hopefully when they visit the cat even and see the great cats, then they sit there and go, wow, what can I do to help them in the wild? Nobody's going to save cats in captivity in the sense of uh, captive cats don't have the skills or the training to be able to survive in the wild. So if we're going to save cats, we need to look to outside the zoo to save them where they live wild. But the zoo becomes a very important part for people to be educated and inspired. And people talk about seeing things on TV and that's so good enough for people to be inspired. It's not. People like to come and see and they see a cheetah and they go, oh my gosh, I didn't know the cheetah was that big. Or I didn't know they had that kind of fur or something unique that they can identify and see when they see the animal in person. So the cat haven becomes a place where people can come and see the animal, hopefully be inspired by what they see, and then want to take a role in active conservation in the wild. So just like me when I was a kid and a guy brought a mountain lion to my class in seventh grade, cat haven wouldn't been here if that guy didn't have that uh, desire to bring the cat out and have people see it. And then by seeing the cat, then that inspired me to do something productive and save cats in the wild. So conservation through adults to kids becomes very important, but they have to be inspired to do so, and that's what places like the Cat Even does. So our mission here, we're the base camp, and our, and our goal is to climb Mount Everest, and that's saving cats. But we have to have a base camp to operate from, and this is what this becomes. But our goal is always saving cats in the wild, and that's what climbing a mountain ends up.